This is Mr. Bread, your new teacher. I'm here with my son, Breadcrumb. Say hi, Breadcrumb. Oh. Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. I know, it's scary being on camera. I'm used to it because I'm famous. I'm almost as famous as Fred. All right. You ready, buddy? Today, I'm going to quiz my son on the causes of the American Revolution. Oh, my goodness. He is so talented. Question number one, breadcrumb. Why is the French and Indian War a cause of the American Revolution? You can answer now, breadcrumb. Oh, okay. Breadcrumb's not ready to answer yet, so I will help him out. The French and Indian War led to an English taxing the colonists to pay for the war. The colonists said it was taxation without representation. Right, Brencrum? Okay, he's not ready to talk yet. He knows all the answers, though, because he is my son. Next question. What was the Quartering Act? What? Oh, that's right, Brencrum. The Quartering Act is when... Colonists were forced to house soldiers. They did not like it because they thought the soldiers were spying on them. Brad Crumb, what is the Stamp Act? You look a little stumped on that one. I'm surprised you don't know the answer. That is when the colonists were taxed on all printed papers. The colonists again said it was taxation without representation. You need to pay attention on class breadcrumb. What do they teach you at daycare these days? I don't know. Okay, next question. What happened at the Boston Massacre? Hmm, he knows the answer. He just doesn't want to answer. At the Boston Massacre, five colonists were shot and killed by British soldiers. Paul Revere and Sam Adams made it look like a real massacre. So it wasn't. Right, breadcrumb? Okay. It made people very mad. Yeah, like breadcrumb, he's getting mad. Yeah, you tell them, breadcrumb. You tell them. Um, what about the Boston Tea Party? What do you think, buddy? He's, selling, he's sending me a telepathic message. He says at the Boston Tea Party, the colonists dumped tea into the harbor, the Boston Harbor, because they were angry at the Tea Act, which said they had to pay um, taxes on tea, and they could only buy tea from one company. Um, after that, the colonists um, had, were punished by the king, right, Breadcrumb? Remember how the king closed the Boston Harbor as part of the Intolerable Acts? And then the colonists all met in Philadelphia, the leaders did, and they wrote a letter to the king. That's what you were telling me the other day, right, Breadcrumb? He was telling me that the other day. Yeah. Uh, pretty much those causes got everybody so angry that um, pretty soon after the Continental Congress, there were some battles. Um, and then the colonists will eventually declare independence, which will um, be part of the American Revolution. Um, Breadcrumb, would you like me to sing you a song? No, I don't know any Lady Gaga songs. Here, this will make you feel better. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Yes, your father's a good singer. What should the kids do, breadcrumb? What should they do for homework? Let's tell them. Tell them. What do you think, buddy? He said, copy the dictionary.